Sharad, you've taught so many different types of students. You've taught anywhere from the very advanced to beginners to the sick and people that have health ailments. What I think we'd like to talk about, because a lot of people who do have health ailments are recommended yoga, but they'd never consider Ashtanga yoga as something that they could do to improve their health if they have an ailment. So I know you've worked with people with various ailments, including arthritis and knee pain, back pain, all different types of things in the many years you've taught yoga at so many different levels. So explain to me, when you see people with different ailments, how you treat them differently than the incredible yogi that might be coming and be able to go th all the way through an intermediate practice. A person who comes, who has health problems, first we have to see what kind of problem he has. So there are bunch of asanas, like 40, 50 asanas, which, which are really good to gain good health. If some uh, people come with arthritis, you have to know what to teach them. So what would you teach so, someone with arthritis, for example? Oh, there are uh, many asanas, like Veerabhadrasana, this uh, Uttita Parshvakonasana, like this. There are many postures which are there, and uh, this breathing itself is a very good healer. So the breathing with the posture. Breather, breathing with the posture is a very good healer. It heals many uh, ailments. elements in our body and it purifies the nervous system. The circulation, when there is no proper circulation in our body, the blood circulation in our body, that blood circulation, when it is not there, that causes lots of problems. So when we, when we are moving with the breathing, there's many things happening within our body. There are many uh, parts of our body, many organs our body are working properly. The blood is, the oxygen through blood is uh, circulating properly throughout the body. So this cycle will happen. Even uh, like a dead nerve also will become active. Just and from the breathing, just in by conjunction doing the with breathing, the posture. Yeah. So you, so for different ailments, if you get someone to come in with arthritis, you'll basically give them a little bit of a different Le, yoga You know, practice. when there is a, a person who comes with arthritis, they can't move. They can't move very fast. So then we have to slow down and try to teach them a basic asana practice, a basic postures which are really good for Would them. Would you use... Without with someone with arthritis, a sun salutation, or would that sun be too? Sun salutations, if they are able to do, we'll, we teach them sun salutations. If they can't do it for more, how much? if they can't do five sun salutations, they can just do for two or three. Because sun salutations is also to generate internal heat. So when we do that, when we generate that heat, we get internal energy also. And your body opens up. And body opens up. Uh, when we generate that internal heat, the blood also will circulate properly throughout our body.